Patreon people, what's up? Today's topic is about male to female ratio in your shrimp tank and why it's so important to have that balance. Um, this tank in particular, I'm showing you because like 99% of the shrimp in this tank are male. And with the more males that you have, it just becomes a huge problem um, for female survival. When a female is vulnerable in molting, they will attack her. When they're trying to breed with her because there's so many of them, they will attack her. So I've never actually seen them kill a female, but I know from all of my experience in disappearing females in all mostly male tanks that this is the issue. Um, and I just got really unlucky because I ordered um, 20 pintos from an importer as juveniles and they all ended up male. So it's, it wouldn't be fair of me to say that perhaps they could sexually ID them at that age. They look pretty small to me. However, I guess if you're super, super experienced, they could have sent male males. I don't know. I just don't want to make that claim. It just seems pretty crazy that this is happening. Um, so now I'm stuck with all these beautiful, beautiful males and I'm unable to breed them because there's no girlies up in this group. So it kind of sucks. Um, so what you want to do is when you actually have females is the time to be very alert and really identify the sex of your males. So I have a lot of tanks so I didn't really do that here and this is the first time in a long time where I've had an issue like this so um, what you want to do is generally speaking a lot of people have a hard time sexing them. Um, these here are all males even though they have these like pretty full looking bellies for males they're males um, and there's never been saddles there's never been um, babies from any of these and another factor is that instead of the undercarriage being really sloped it's kind of like straight across and um, their antennas the front antennas that stick out from the nose kind of towards, uh, if you're looking at a clock, two o'clock, right? Those ones that are on the shrimp that are sticking out to two o'clock? Well, those are super long on males, so you will notice that as well. The reason um, that I know that these are also all males is because I did have two females from some zebra pintos that I got from the same seller, and they were buried, and then I moved tanks, and um, I believe they dropped their eggs, so this is a male. He's absolutely beautiful and I really really am in desperate need of now thinning out this male population and uh, adding a bunch of females. So. so you guys, if you have a tank with a lot of female shrimp and whip up but way more males, you really, really want to thin those males down because they will, um, one by one, take out some females. I had that happen in a Neocaridina tank of mine really, really uh, long time ago when I first started out. I had like, I don't know, I had a, tank, a 10 gallon tank with like eight, 900 shrimp in there. It was absolutely full of shrimp and I would notice daily females would be laying on the floor dead and <laughs> after a while I would realize visually that I had a lot of males like tons of males swimming around in there and uh, probably 75% males and 25% females so it just became imbalanced and um, so it's just very important to watch your male to female ratios because you will experience um, if you do have a few females likely you're going to notice them disappearing and now this is just an all male tank, all male squad. So I tried to sell a couple of them just by themselves. Nobody just wants a bunch of male shrimp apparently. So what I'm gonna have to do is just, I don't know, <laughs> maybe buy a bunch of juveniles again and just keep a really close eye or um, offer these t males for free to a fellow hobbyist. I'm not quite sure. Alright guys, watch your male to female ratios, because it's very important, and that is my tip of the day. See you soon.
that good. Uh.